Good evening everyone. So welcome back to the new lab session of Microsoft Excel. So in this lab we'll see one scenario where you are provided a list of name with gender. Okay. So here is a list of names, maybe a name of student or name of the employee and this is the gender section. Now suppose here let's say we have around let's say 42 44 names are there you may be provided let's say hundreds or 200 names are there so suppose you get a scenario where you have to segregate how many males are there and how many females are there and you have to provide it to uh, your senior authorities so how to solve it so if you uh, if you are a layman you just simply go and copy this paste it here again you go to the next column you check whether it's a male you just copy it paste it here again you go here you find this is female uh, you leave and again you go here and copy it so it's a very time taking task okay so to resolve this problem Excel has provided a very excellent feature. Okay. So the feature is known as filter function. Okay. So how to use it? So simply suppose here you want to display the name of male, or you could say the list of male gender you have to show. Okay. So let me write male here at the top and use the function known as filter function. So how to use it? Just press equal to filter. Now in this function, it first asks an array. Array is what? Is the num is the list of name present in your excel so if you want to select from b3 to the last one so instead of going one by one what do you do you have to press Control shift and then down arrow and you will select all the names so if i press Control shift and down arrow you see at a time you will select all the names okay so you get the name name array okay now press comma and here it is again it asks for include include means you have to select the gender list okay so i select this first gender and along with that i have to select all the gender using control shift and down arrow now among these genders i have to choose only those gender which is equal to okay let's say male now close the bracket and hit enter you'll get all the names you see you'll get all the names among the line now suppose if i want to display the female names either let me show you here let's say equal to or just write female equal to filter choose the name list array that is control shift down arrow now sorry control shift down arrow then press comma then choose the gender section control shift down arrow and this should be equal to whatever i write here that is female so press close and press enter see all the names appear okay now similarly here instead of this male if i write here female all the 
female name's name will be displayed here. You see, female. You see, only the female name will be displayed. Similarly, here if I write male, all the male list will be displayed. Okay, so in this way, you can use this filter function. Okay, so try to practice it. In the next section, we'll see that how many males and females are there among this array list. Okay, so practice it. And if you have any doubt, let me know in the comment section. Thank you very much.